Now, once you understand how you can make the Google login, let's take a look at how you can create GitHub login. You have to head on to the github.com and sign in with your username and password. Just after that, once you successfully sign in, you have to open this profile section and click on these settings. When you click on the settings, scroll down and click on this developer settings. Here you have three options, GitHub apps, auth apps and personal access token. You have to click on this auth app. You have to create your application here. The auth app application is used to access the GitHub API. So to access the GitHub API login feature, you have to register your new application. So just click on this button, register a new application. Here you specify your application name. I'm going to specify here application name auth app that I'm going to specify my home page. So this is the develop my home page. Later when you deploy your application, you can change this home page URL. Now this application description is optional. I'm going to leave this as it is, but we need to specify the authorized callback URL here. So inside this authorized callback URL, you need to specify the path of the callback URL. You need to specify your domain, the API folder, the auth folder, and the callback endpoint. And just after that, you have to click on this register application. This is going to create a new application inside the GitHub. You can see, and you can see right down here, you have your client ID and client secret. So let me first copy the client ID back to my application open the .env.local file and right here I'm going to say github underscore id is equal to I'm going to specify my github id and say here github secret and then I'm going to copy this secret so let me just generate the new client secret when you click on this generate new client secret it's going to generate a new client secret let me copy this by clicking on this icon and then I'm going to paste my secret here and now once you specify that you have to start your development server again so just stop the development server and restart it using npm run dev. So this is going to start the development server and going to create both these variables. Just out of that, close this .env file back to the next art.js. And right here, you have to import the GitHub provider. So at the top, right up here, you have to say import GitHub provider. From in the single code, you specify next auth forward slash providers. And inside that you have GitHub package. So you specify that here. And from this GitHub package, you get the GitHub provider. And then you have to specify this GitHub provider as an added to this provider property. So just out of this Google provider, I'm going to specify here comma and say here GitHub provider. And inside this parenthesis, I'm going to specify curly braces and pass my client ID and client secret. So let me just specify here client ID. Client ID is going to be process.env dot github id so let me specify that here pass comma and say client secret is going to be process dot env dot variable which is github secret like this now just after that you have to save all the changes back to the login.js and here you can see we already have the handler function for the google login Let's create another handler function here for GitHub login. So at the top, I'm going to say GitHub login. And then I'm going to specify here async function. We are going to create async handler function here. Async function handle GitHub sign in or login. That's upon you. You can create any function here. Just out of that, inside this, you need to call sign in function of next auth, this one. And then specify here in the single code github because this sign in is for github we specify here github and then we need to specify the redirect url as well so i'm going to copy this object of this google login and then specify that as a second argument and then we need to specify this handler to the github button so when you scroll down here you have the github button this one here i'm going to specify on click handle github sign in save this file back to the project and if i reload it and click on this sign in with github i'm going to redirect to the github authentication page and here i need to specify my username and password so let me specify that and click on this sign in button you can see as a response you are redirect to the home page and you'll get your username and email so now you are successfully logged in using your github account now if you want to sign out you can just click on this sign out button and sign out from the github api so this is how you can simply make a Google and GitHub login. Let's take a look at how you can create your own custom login using nextauth.js.